Hey, hey, you beautiful, wonderful soul. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today, it has officially been 1,580 days on this crazy ketogenic journey of mine of just life improvements and just seeing where it goes. So far, so good. A lot to talk about, like, you know, surviving Thanksgiving and all that good stuff. We're going to get into it. But don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Because now, it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave, Keto Diamond style. I don't know how well y'all can see this, but my dad's been fixing up uh, my son's house and uh, the, uh, for some reason they decided to paint the walls white. Well, my dad wasn't done. He hadn't done the putty. He came in, look, go ahead, Destiny, tell him. I mean, he did, he did. And, and so we were like, all right, it's done. So we painted it. And then we were confused because the places where the white is, it was matte black. And we were like, why is it matte black? And then Grandpa came over one day and he was like, oh, I didn't sand it yet. And we were like, oh man. So, and he was like, yeah, gonna have to do it again. And I was like, darn it. <laughs> so, so dad just kind of came in, looked at it and said, yeah, I'm not done yet. And he just went over their walls with uh, putty. So, honestly though, I think it looks kind of cool to be honest it with you. It doesn't, you can be honest. I, I think it looks neat. I would take and like uh, put various colors in the white spots and just leave it and rock it. Mm. Or kids' handprints in just different colors kind of like everywhere. Oh, Even pick up the cat and put the paint paws on there. Oh, no. Oh, come on, that'd That's be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be fun. I think it's actually kind of neat looking at it. I know. Definitely adds interest. It was so, it looked so much better when it was hey, just mama. black. Hey, mama. <laughs> well, you guys, I officially want to tell you happy Thanksgiving. It's tomorrow, but that's okay. It's coming. I really, really hope all of you guys are as good as you want to be for Thanksgiving. I'm not pushing on nobody. You can't have a meal with your family. You can't feast on a special day. I'm not pushing that. I'm not pushing that you should do it or should not do it. That is completely up to you. But I will say, in my own personal experience, having learned everything I've learned, sometimes it's very hard to bounce back from. But... Always make your next mojito. I cannot promise what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't have a great track record with family gatherings. <laughs> I think I survived one of them without cheating. Um, it's very difficult when there's a ton of free stuff laid out in front of you and people are enjoying it and partaking. So I'm not going to say one way or the other. But I am going to give you some ideas. Now, I know uh, one of my friends was saying that uh, her mom was really pushing cake on her. Like, and, and she was like, Mom, I'm trying to follow this diet. And her mom's like, it's it's a special day, you know. And she's like, Mom, it, most of the time, people aren't monitoring what you're actually eating. Lie. <laughs> you gonna have some cake? I just had a piece. Did you not see that? I had a great big old hunking piece. I just had some of that. And if they say, what, well, are you are you gonna have some of this? You, you can always say, you know, my belly's feeling a little bit weird. I think I'm just gonna have some ham or turkey right now. And of course, they're gonna come in right now. I'll be right back. Well, you know what, Anthony, come here. Light. Quick. Light, I'll turn on the light, come here. Come some, I can't see, uh-oh, I'll get you. I, oh. When was the last time we been in a video? It's been a minute, say hi. Light. Yeah, light, say hi. Uh. Okay, we'll turn the light, Aaron, turn the light on. There we uh. go. Light. There's the light, now say hi. Okay, go play and then the other one wants it off. I'll be right back. Maybe. Two hours later. <laughs> Literally. Uh, fun times though. Got kisses and hugs plus a major toy cleanup. You know how that works. Getting ready to go through all these toys and start getting rid of some stuff. I forgot what the heck I was talking about because that was two hours ago. What was I talking about? Maybe I should go back and watch. Yeah, I should. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about uh, Thanksgiving and lying. 
lie if you must. Tell them you just, you, today you're only in the mood for. That way you ain't got to explain anything because if you start going into details about how you can have all the steak you want but not an apple, people are like, well, that doesn't sound like a very, here, just try a piece of pie. If you don't want it, I mean, for one, you could just be honest, but that's a whole rabbit hole of explanation and you don't want to do that. So I am not above saying I just had a piece. You didn't see me? Girl, please, I just had so much mashed taters and gravy, I can't eat another bite. Or, you know what, I'm going to let everybody else get theirs, and I'm going to have me some of this, this ham or turkey right now, and, and I'll get me some of the other stuff in just a minute. Uh, just, you ain't even got to. And then if they say anything, well, did you get you some? Well, I got so full off that ham and turkey, I couldn't eat nothing else. But it's okay. Do it however you have to do it. But don't be ashamed to either tell the truth or just bullshit. It's like, it's, I had so much of that pecan pie, I can't look at nothing else. Make sure when you say that, somebody has already ate two or three slices, though. <laughs> but you didn't, the pecan pie ain't even open yet. Oh, I had it at the house. I, I jumped the gun. I couldn't help it. I, Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do it the way you need to do it if you need to do it that way. And if you do fall off the wagon tomorrow or this weekend, because I know sometimes these events carry over from one household to the next, but make it expert keto. You didn't ruin your whole day's progress. And you know what? Here's a great trick. Uh, it's not foolproof. You're still going to grab a little water weight, but you can make it a lot better if you make tomorrow's feast a nomad. Um, and that's true. You might not go up, but like one pound or something like that. And, and you'll get, if you make it an OMAD, you can go right back at it and start fasting right then and there until the next day. You'll be right back in ketosis. If you've been doing this more than two or three weeks, once your body gets fat adapted, you go back into ketosis really fast. I can eat a cupcake right here, right now. By tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., I'm in ketosis. It might not be a deep level. Um, don't want you to think that I'm going to be in a full scale ketosis. I'm not. It'll be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, something like that. But it'll still be there. My body is fully fat adapted. It's very much so used to burning ketones and fat. Dude, chill. Seriously. Come here. Okay. Not you, mama. Stuff your butt. Wiggles. Wiggles, come here. Come here, Wiggles. Come here. Oh, your mama walked by. Come here, Wiggles. Come on, get your face. Thank you. Wiggles. Little short fat dog. You ain't got no ears. They're just little tiny things right there. Little tiny things right there. You're pretty puppy. Yes, you are. Okay, run away. Go play. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, let's talk about the last couple of days. I never have intentions to do anything bad. I never usually wake up and say, tomorrow is a cheat day, and I'm going to cheat my little self to death. Uh, I think maybe I've done that once. Uh, like, I try to plan cheat day or whatever. I don't really have to plan them. But anyway, um, I made things worse. And this was the day before yesterday. I'm so sorry. So, it was what, Monday. I made some, a shuffle. With some G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup, which spiked my glucose, which kicked me out of ketosis. And I had that brain thing where it said, well, you're kicked now. You may as well do what the hell you want to. Which is not true, by the way. As soon as you stop doing what you did that you shouldn't have done, the quicker and the less damage, the less impact it's going to have physically, weight-wise, um, water weight, everything. The, the less impact it's going to have if you quit while you're ahead. But I'm not always smart enough to quit while I'm ahead. I know not everybody else is either. Um, so then I just, I ate what the hell ever I wanted to pretty much all day long. I gained. And that was, like I said, the day before yesterday. Uh, this morning, though, because yesterday was a great keto day. It was a perfect keto day. I lost, which is wonderful. And I'm very, very thrilled with it. But <laughs> I wish I hadn't have done what I did. Because then I would have lost a lot more, or, you know, over the course of two days. But I didn't. I didn't act right, and that's just reality. I have not acted right for quite a while. But I'm still pushing. I'm still trying. Still maintaining in this area. Just not perfect in where I want to be. 
that being said, <laughs> also, um, last night, I might have actually went down more, but I didn't get enough sleep to tell. Because let me tell you what my brain decided to do this morning. And my brain got an attitude problem. And it cocked it with me right back. So let me tell you. I was sleeping. I was sleeping soundly. My brain woke me up by singing Pyromaniac by Def Leppard. What the heck? Why? Why are you singing this? What's going on? It's like, I don't know. I was asleep too. No, you wasn't. You was awake 30 minutes before I was awake. I know you was because I've been singing Pyromaniac in my head for 30 damn minutes. <laughs> Like, how, that's not the best way to wake somebody up, brain, okay? It's just not. How about, like, somewhere over the rainbow, something more soothing and melody? And my brain, I swear, said, girl, I tried that, and your ass tried to sleepwalk right outside to find a damn rainbow. I was like, okay, so you sing a song about pyromaniac? Do you want me to burn the house down? And I said, girl, please. You can't hurt, you use a lighter without hurting yourself when you awake, let alone when you asleep. Alright, All right. tonight we listen to Dolly Parton all night. See how you like that, Def Leppard girl? <laughs> really, I literally woke up burning and yearning. Mm. What the hell, man? Why? I don't even know the last time I heard that song. But my brain remembered it because I was remembering parts of it I forgot existed, okay? Now, let me say that Def Leppard is one of the best bands all time, and I think they're the most overlooked bands, to be honest with you, because they were freaking phenomenal. Lol. That is not how I want to wake up in the mornings. Five hours of sleep. I was like, I could have slept in. I didn't have to get up this morning. But no, you have to sing Pyromaniac, and we have to argue with each other. I think it's one side of my brain to the other, the left side and the right side, the demon and the, the angel. I don't really know which one's which, to be frank with you, but it's also the one that says, go ahead and have that cake. Now you better not touch it. Oh, come on, with just a bite. You know, it ain't going to be no damn bite. I need a nap. I need sleep. That's what I need. Mm. But I'm going to go ahead and show you my weigh-ins from the last couple of days, plus what I ate yesterday on my perfect keto day. And we're going to push right along. Check it out, y'all. All right, you guys. Morning routine. I got my coffee. It's a much smaller cup with um, ah, pumpkin spice, unsweetened vanilla almond milk is my creamer. And I'm using two packs of stevia because I've actually been able to come down and use less packets, uh, thanks to COVID, honestly. And um, some organic collagen peptides in my coffee. I'm also taking in the morning vitamin C, uh, B12, uh, B12, D3K2. Uh, at night, before I go to bed, especially when I'm not eating properly, I'm taking magnesium and potassium. When you first start keto, those are great for you. And glucosamine chondroitin, this is actually for my doggy. So we're going to give him that now. Okay, it's Tuesday morning. Quit it. Uh -huh. There we go. 168.8. I feel gross and fat, and it's my own fault. Breakfast Tuesday, uh, 12:30 p.m. Ooh, I think it's been let's see, eight, nine, ten, twelve, sixteen-hour fast, and I've got ice water. And there's the rest of my meals: steak and collard greens. All right, you guys. It is dinner time. It is almost 7 p.m. I've got grilled chicken, uh, peppers, tomatoes, onions. No, peppers and onions. There's no tomatoes, just red peppers. Anyway, melted cheese. Um, that's what the white stuff is. And I put on here, bear with me, black and seasoning salt. And salt. <laughs> Wednesday morning, you guys. That's not what it said. Well, oh, there it is. Uh, uh, 166.8. Not expecting magic. I've been awake for over an hour already. I forgot. Plus, it's cold in here. I ain't really going to take my clothes off. <laughs> what do you got? Three puppies. Three puppies. That's trying to bite my hand. What's their names? Uh, I'm gonna name her Rosie. 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 Yeah, Rosie. All right. And then what's Rosie. the middle one's name? Ted and Wiggles. Teddy and Wiggles, right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> and this one, Rosie. I named her that like today. Ah. 
Um, can you call her Rosie? Sure. Okay. You better call her mean. She beats up all the puppies. <laughs> so up from the day before, down from yesterday. Woohoo, right? These right here, uh, I, I did a video, I think I uploaded it. A little short clip about, you know, I'm going to try to start wearing these. They're itchy right here on both sides. And I don't know if that's just the way they, they're squishy or whatever. Somebody told me I needed to uh, measure. Here's the thing about measuring your arms. If you've lost a lot of weight, you know this, so I don't have to tell you. But, uh, or if you, I guess not. If you weren't heavy in your arms to begin with, but I mean, my arms were thick, fat. Hulk Hogan didn't have nothing on my arms, okay? Nothing. They were thick, plump, juicy, fat, meaty. Um, but wrapping a measuring tape around them is almost impossible. And I'll show you why in a minute. But with these on, I could I could do the tape without a problem. But without them, anything that touches my arm fat, it just smushes. <laughs> it can you can't even barely lay it on there because it's, it's still gonna smush because it's so it's squishy right there. No, no, I can't. I don't know. I can measure them with this on when I find my measuring tape, which neither side of my brain knows where it's at right now. Uh, but otherwise, can't really measure until I get a new tape. And I hate to buy a new tape because I know there's three doggone tapes around this house. Girl, when you wake up in the morning, I need you to search mentally for where the measuring tapes are. Because if you can remember... Words to a song we ain't heard in years, you know where the damn measuring tape is. Okay. Yes, I'm arguing with myself. No, I don't care that you know about it. Because I know I'm not the only one. But anyway, that's how it goes. So my mama did give me something today. So tomorrow is my mom and dad's 54th wedding anniversary. I got them both a tin of popcorn. I had to get two separate ones. And I would love to get them keto things. They're not going to eat them. But anyway, I got them both a tin of popcorn, one of the Christmas tins, separately because they will argue over them. It's bad when you can't get somebody something for their 54 wedding anniversary because they'll fight if you get them the same thing to share. But anyway, that's what I got them. <laughs> I'd have got them something better, but they don't even like each other, so I shouldn't have to spend all my money on people that don't even like each other for an anniversary that they'd rather forget about. I'm not joking. My daddy hides from my mommy and dear stands. He don't even shoot no more. He just hides from my mom and deer stands. But anyway, my mama gave me a book. Lies my doctor told me. Uh, by Dr. Mary. She bought this book and I flipped through it a while back. But I never got the full chance to read it because she wanted it back. So, yeah. I mean, I, I can't rate them, you know, really dive into the whole thing. You know, it's, it's got a lot of great chapters like is cholesterol your enemy. By the way, no, it's not. Your entire body, every single cell is made up of cholesterol. You actually need it to survive. And when it's high, guess what? Your body's in repair mode or you're losing fat because fat is stored, I mean, sorry, cholesterol is stored in your fat cells and when those fat cells start to shrink and pop and go away, it's gotta go somewhere. You shouldn't even have your cholesterol checked until you're done with your weight loss journey, period, because it's gonna be high. That's how that works. They scared me that first time, but I ain't scared no more. <laughs> it's like, uh, your cholesterol is a little elevated. I'm like, okay, wait a minute, so I healed from all these different diseases and the one thing that wasn't bad on me which was my cholesterol now it's bad no no sorry not gonna do it not gonna do it I've, I've seen some of these they kind of have like a back wrap that will hold them up instead of having to have the little squishies up here these sit pretty good for the most part as long as I'm not too animated with my arms but you guys know I'm very animated with my arms I talk a lot with my hands like a dumbass. I'm arguing with myself. I'm talking with my hands. I mean, Lord. <laughs> short puppies can't chase their tails. He, 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 he's too short to reach. He's shorter than my pinky. I swear, his tail's shorter than my pinky. Get it. <laughs> you ain't gonna catch that tail, bubba. Sorry. He looks like a woolly poly ball trying to get the tail. No, what is it called? Roly poly? It's like a little furry worm that rolls into a ball. It's trying to... No, I don't know. It ain't gonna work out, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. 
Uh, anyway, you guys, I guess that's all I got for you tonight. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Again, make your next mojito no matter what you do. Either if, Even if you do great, make your next mojito. If you screw up entirely, make your next mojito. You can do this. And even if you have a momentary setback, it's not a full-time setback. It's, it's just get right back on it. Keep on pushing. You can maintain that way anyway. That's not your goal, probably. But if you're just maintaining, you'll be fine. Just make your next mojito. Do the best you can. Y'all, I think that's all I got to say. Check out the links below. Get you some organ collagen peptides or protein powder that's good and yummy. Tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. I'm not even lying. Love that stuff. Love it. And with my link, you get 30% off and free shipping for your first order. So, you know, order your first ones down there. Get the rest at Walmart. I don't care where you get it. All right. I don't care if you get the first ones at Walmart if it's cheaper on you. But, hey, you know, if you can save 30%. Anyway, there are some great links down below. Don't forget to send me a Christmas card, and I'll send you one back. That address is also in the description below. There's some pretty cool links down there that you can support the channel with, or you can get you a Shoshka bracelet or something like that, or you can contact me because I help everybody do keto for free, and I love it. Much love. Many prayers. Happy Thanksgiving. Make your next Mokito. Bye, y'all.